All right, so just trying to clean up the wiring in the back because it's an absolute shit show. Um, the factory sub wasn't even hooked up. I'm going to see if it works and hook it up. Um, that's all the stuff for th those subs. And then I'm going to either move the ground or lengthen it, probably move it in both. Um, I took the taillights out. Something told me to take the taillights out and just, just check the bulbs since we just put it up. High beam, LED high beams and uh, HIDs, headlights in it. And I see all this crap. I was like, what in the fuck? That's just glued on. It's not even screwed into place. And then this one, you can't even disconnect fully because he's stealing power from another light. And earlier in the summer, they just, the car just randomly filled with smoke. I think that's what this is all melted wire. All of that is melted together. And then there's these fucking like what the fuck are these? What's behind here? So I have many questions. I'm probably gonna end up having to pull this panel off. Um he's uh, that wire just goes from like, I swear to God, if it goes all the way up to the engine bay or something stupid, that's absolutely ridiculous. All right, we did some digging with the multimeter. Fucking bitch, I just broke that. Um, this is a switch 12 volt. This is a neutral wire. This wire uh, went to this little mess, right? These two plugs. AV plugs, it looks like. Neutral power. This little red wire was spliced into here, which was then running through and spliced, getting power, I guess, from the reverse light. Might have been a signal wire, but these went through this hole and into the backup camera, which I don't even use because I know how to use my fucking mirrors. But anyway... Um, the backup camera, the harness is just all melted. So cleaning wires up and tucking shit away. And then I got to, uh, go into the taillights and fix this ab abortion of a fucking wiring harness. All right. We have that subwoofer and these two subwoofers connected. We have the wiring taken care of. Looks a little bit nicer. Some zip ties, some loom. Some shrink wrap and very little electrical tape. And we flip the amp around so all the uh, words are facing the right way. And then we mounted it with a ratchet strap because that's all I had. Okay, this is the driver's tail light. Now, for the backup camera, they had taken a uh, what I would assume is an aftermarket harness, ran it from the Pioneer uh, head unit all the way back here, stole power for a signal off of the power wire for the backup light, and it had then caught fire in this general area and melted a bunch of shit. So we got rid of all that since I don't even use the backup camera. Now, he had, let's see... Uh, those, the red wire and that gray wire twisted together and then not really touching the, uh, oh no, it was, it was clamped, um, by a single, oh, where is it? One of these, one of these guys, this whole piece of wire actually connected the ground wire from here to here. That's very necessary. I don't know why he added the third one because this first wire would have been fucking sufficient. Oh, crackheads. So then I had to resolder everything, re shrink wrap everything. Uh, luckily, he didn't cut this orange wire. He just stripped the uh, casing back a little bit and tapped into it. With, but he just wrapped it and then wrapped it in electrical tape and called it a day. So it's no wonder this thing caught fire. And now that that's fixed, we gotta move on to replacing the underglow lights 
on the rear bumper and the front bumper. So these lights, which are supposed to be weatherproof, got full of uh, water and salty water and uh, shorted out the LEDs inside, causing it to now glow a different color, which is back feeding electricity somehow, then causing all of the underglow to glow different colors. So ah, I had those two uh, lights warrantied out. We're just gonna slap the new one on the front. The rear one, we're gonna cut the rear uh, harness and just solder it in. Uh, because the extension is run underneath or through the subframe, uh, which is going to be a real pain in the ass to drag it back out. So, And also, I'm going to neaten up this clusterfuck of wires because I did that in a hurry. All right, so we're back to work on the uh, taillight lighting a little bit. And we just got the package in. Just yeah. let it open. I think and those are for the backup lights, which are the only lights in this car that are not LED or HID. So it turns out my brake lights, because those are a really big LED, are way brighter than my actual backup lights. So I can't really see much while I'm backing up. So we're going to change that today. Oh, I'm so happy this doesn't look like a failed colostomy bag anymore. All right, so... This is the light that will be taken out. Nothing wrong with it, works fine. But these are the lights we're putting in. Last fit, LED lights. We should be pretty bright. Three LEDs on the sides, three on the top. And it was only like uh, 15 bucks. So we'll see. I guarantee you it'll make a difference in the halogen. But uh, yeah, let's just, uh, these just pop right out. And I need two hands to open the package. All right, I probably could open that with one hand, but then that should just slide on in. That's going to make me look stupid and use two hands. I don't want to break this. And boom. That's all there is to it. <clears throat> now we're going to uh, hook it back up, put the car in reverse, and just make sure it works, because usually with leds there is a, a right way and a wrong way to install shit so let's go do that reverse working oh yeah look at that thing nice and bright and now we just put the screws back in with the Wrong size screwdriver. I should just gotta push a little bit to get it to kind of lock. Yeah, this is really the wrong size screwdriver. This is a uh, a one by four. Should probably be using something bigger. But you know what? It'll get it in good enough. But it won't rattle. Cool. All right. Now that both lights are in, I mean, we go down. We can see the little LEDs in there. You can see the big LED for the directionals, and we can see a new LED for the reverse light. So, all should uh, be nice and bright now. We'll come back at nighttime, and uh, we'll throw it in reverse, and we'll just see how much uh, how much brighter it actually is. I don't have a before, but you couldn't see shit. You literally can't see shit. So let's go over the lighting situation in the car right now, starting from the front, bottoms up. Fog lights, yellow LEDs that I don't have to uh, tint the lens for. <clears throat> Headlights, HIDs, really, really bright. High beams, I don't know, we can really see it in there, there it is. Nice LEDs. Directionals are still regular halogens, they're probably bright for what they're doing. Although I probably should upgrade those to an LED, it already flashes really fast. Um, the bottom strip, just regular LED running lights. Pretty standard of the car. Did something shit on my thing? Probably did. It's covered in pollen, bugs. Ugh, it's disgusting right now. Mirrors. I'm pretty sure these are uh, orange and they're LEDs. It's nice. We have uh, green LED underglow underneath the car. I'm still working on a strip for the rear. I'm just trying to find something that looks a little bit more hidden. Uh, we also have LEDs in the grill as well. Nothing for the uh, 
intercooler area because it's all blocked off right right about there so maybe if we get a front mount intercooler or trim some plastic in there but that's a project for another day go to the back standard led brake lights and we also have red led directionals and now a nice white led backup light and pretty typical red led third brake light we come under here for the subwoofer the amp lights up blue which actually doesn't uh bother me too much i thought it would uh reflect off of the glass and uh, bug me but it doesn't so that's good so yeah the lighting in the car is uh, pretty much all complete we come inside turn the car on real quick we have green led glow in here as well it's all tied to the same system uh, our boost gauge has a red led light in it and the gauge cluster is led up as well uh interior lights white led this one doesn't really work all that much ever um so there's that and uh yeah i'm pretty sure that's all there is for lights on this car no uh, wheel well lighting or anything like that. Oh, we also got rid of all the uh, reflectors as well. Um, not really a light, but it reflects light. So, yeah, that's really uh, all there is. This car is disgusting. It needs a fucking bath. We're getting pollen here in New Hampshire right now. So I have a little bit of seasonal allergies, as you can probably hear. And obviously the car is just covered and pollen so yep that's all there is and that's gonna do it for this episode of mechanic dave make sure to like subscribe and follow if you haven't done so already and come back for uh, more interesting videos will it be a veloster will it be a bronco will it be a fox body who knows